All right, so here we are, Star Citizen. We've got the VKB SEM module, and we're gonna be talking about how to set up the different operator modes uh, using the four-way mode selector in game. So we're gonna be setting up scanning mode, mining mode, uh, which is also salvage mode because they use the same keybind, and then the final mode will basically be the extracting mode for mining or the head switch when using salvage mode. So setting this up is a bit tricky because of the way that Star Citizen handles their keybinds. Everything is a toggle and when you take a look at something like extractor mode, it's not really its own mode, it's more just like switching between something. Um, so it makes it tricky because if we switch to extraction mode and then back to mining mode, the mining mode's going to turn the whole thing off. All right, so to start off, I'll let you know what my settings are. So I have mode three set as the arresting position. Mode two goes into mining. Mode one goes to extractor mode. And going up to mode four is scanning. So the way this is going to work is every single mode is going to be a two button toggle. So basically when you enter a mode that will be a button and when you leave a mode that will also be a button. So for instance mode 3 is actually mining mode. If we leave mode 3 it turns on mining mode. And if we enter mode 3 it turns off mining mode. So mode 2 is actually unbound. Mode 2 doesn't do anything. But mode 3 is our resting position. And what that lets us do is when we go into mode 2, or technically when we leave mode 3, we turn on mining mode. And now, now that we're in 2, we can turn extraction mode on with 1, and we can turn it off. And we can go back and forth all day. The reason it's set up like this is because if mode 2 was set to M for mining mode, we would be turning it off. We'd basically be like that, turning mining mode off, which is not what we want. We want it to toggle between these two states. And it's the same for salvage. We want to switch between the two different um, laser heads. We don't want to turn off salvage mode altogether. So mode 3 has the actual keybinds. Mode 2 is empty and mode 1 is a toggle for these two modes. Now where it gets tricky is when we go into mode 4 which is scanning because as I said earlier leaving mode 3 is going to activate scanning so that's going to happen whether we go to 2 or we go to 4. So what we need to do in the VKB software is when we leave 3 it's going to activate mining mode and we're going to set up a macro that's going to have a delay so that just a few milliseconds later we hit the M key again which will turn off mining mode and then we will hit the V key which will turn on scanning mode so I'll show you what that looks like in game so you saw it just flashed mining mode to turn on scanning mode and that right there is really the, the only way that this system works that I found um, because everything sort of rides on how Star Citizen does the keybinds. You know, we can't, we can't have two be mining, like I said before, because it would turn off if we went into extraction mode. So the way this has to work is that three has to be mining mode, two has to be empty, so that one can function the way it's supposed to. And so because of that rule set, it, it puts us in a bad situation for scanning. So the only way we can do this is that 3 is going to turn on mining mode and 4 is going to turn it right back off for scanning. And then when we come back to resting position uh, from scanning, uh, because we're entering mode 3, it's going to hit M again. And it's going to want to do mining mode. And we're going to have a delay on mode 4 to turn it back off so you can see it flashing. So you can see the mining mode and you can hear the audio. But it does work. So scanning mode's on, scanning mode's off. 
scanning mode on. I think you might have to wait for the animation or it won't trigger. But you can always pause and go back. Like that. Alright, so talking about how this is set up in the VKB software. Um, first thing you want to do is come over to Profile, Buttons, Physical Layer, and this shows all of your physical buttons. And you can hit the Pull button to basically press a button and see what button is activating. Um, and so you can see here, these four toggle buttons are the mode switches. And the way that these are each set up, you can hit the button here. They are set up as a toggle with two buttons. By default, when you set it as two buttons, it's going to do something like this. We've got button 53, 54, 55, and 56. What it's going to do is it's going to do 53, 54, 54, 55, 55, 56. And it's going to have those duplicates, which we don't want any buttons to be duplicates. So what you need to do is select each button and you want to uh, come, come to what the uh, second virtual button is. And in this uh, box, you just want to choose buttons that aren't being used. So any of these green buttons um, that aren't being used, just choose those. And I chose 100 through 103 so I could find it easier. Okay, so with all of your buttons set up, you don't have to match me perfectly, just make sure that every button is unique and there's two for each. And basically what we're going to do is, what I use is Joy to Key, which basically lets you turn some buttons into keyboard buttons, which now that I've delved into this software, I realize you can do the same thing in the VKB software, you don't need this. <clears throat> But this is what I've been using. Um, so for this tutorial, that's what I'm going to be doing all the keyboard buttons in. But just to make it clear, you can do keyboard buttons in this software as well. So before we get started with the actual keybinds, um, just letting you know that you can do any sort of, uh, you, you can put any mode on any button you want, I guess. You're just going to have to do, you know, your own bit of problem solving to figure out how that layout's going to work. So you can take the ideas from this video, and if you don't like the order I have put the modes, you can switch it up. Um, you might run into a conflict. Not sure. Okay, so to get started, we've got our mode in the resting position, which is uh, mode 3. And we can see here that this button is 55 on entry and 102 when leaving. So basically anytime we come into three, we hit 55. Anytime we leave, we hit 102. So we scroll down here. And you can see that 55 triggers when we enter. And 102 triggers when we leave. So both 55 and 102 are set to M for mining mode or salvage mode. And so what that's going to do is when we leave, it's going to turn it on. And when we come back, it's going to turn it off. And like I said before, mode two, these buttons 54, 101, um, those are unbound. They do nothing. So once you've got that set up, next one will be extraction mode, which is mode one, which is button 53 and 100. So 53 is right click because that's the default uh, mouse and keyboard keybind for extraction mode. And if we come to 100, it is also mouse right click. So now we can go back and forth and all it's doing is it's pressing right click, switching between extraction, mining, extraction, mining. All right, now for mode four, which is scanning mode, we are not going to be using this software anymore um, or setting our keyboard keybinds. Um, like I said, you can use the software to do this, um, but we're going to be using macros for this. So let's hop into that.
So what you want to do is you want to come down to your macro key. And the way it works is you've got your macro numbers, macro one, two, three, four, and so on. And you have your number of actions. And if you check this box, it basically continues the action. Um, so I believe everything would just shift down and you can add more, I, I suppose, vertically. So for our first macro, we've got a void, which you select in this drop down. You select void, and then you add a delay of 25, which multiplies by 10 to be 250 milliseconds. So what happens is you go from 3 to 4, and leaving 3 hits the M key turning on mining mode, which we don't want. So we wait 250 milliseconds, we hit M again to turn it off, then we wait and we hit V to turn on scanning mode. Our second macro is going to be when we go from 4 to 3. And basically what happens is we go from scanning mode back to three, which is going to activate mining mode, which we don't want. So we're going to wait and we're going to turn it off with mining mode. And once again, I'll show you how that looks in game. So you saw mining mode flash and we went scanning. And then mining mode flashed again and we turned it off. That way this is always the resting position. And this is scanning. We don't have to hit any other buttons, it's just the it's just the mode switch. Okay, now we're going to assign these macros to mode 4, which is this button right here, 56 and 103. And by clicking the physical button here, you will get a pop-up which shows you the logical buttons. And you can see 56 is being wired to macro 1, and 103 is wired to macro 2. And... That's the last step, really. Once you've got that, every mode should be working. And you can go into mining mode, out of mining mode. You can go into scanning mode, and it will sort of fix the problems that are inherent in this setup, um, for which I don't know any other way to get around it besides just not doing scanning mode. Uh, the only other way would be to have another gap, the way that mode 2 is unbound, and it's sort of a gap where we go from three to one, uh, we would need to have five modes in order to avo avoid this. So we would go from three to four, four would be empty, and five would be scanning. Um, so it's not a perfect solution, but it does work, and it's uh, reliable. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys, and have a good one.